Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a tutorial about how to calculate sales tax. I have the British sales tax up here, which is 17.5. Alright, I'm gonna talk about LA. LA is 9% because I live in LA and yeah. And I'll just show you how to pick up, get your tax from your state. Okay. Alright, uh, tax is by 9%. 0.09 that's 9% plus 1 100% and you times it by 1 buck 109 so every 9 cents I mean every 9% is 9 cents so if you're buying $10 worth of stuff it'll be 90 cents right here 90 cents so for every dollar is 9 cents in California um you just look up your state, how much your sales tax is. Um, I'll put, I'll just Arizona sales tax. Because I don't know why I like Arizona so much. Uh, it says 5%. So 5.6, that's not bad. So it'll be 5 cents for every, uh, 5 cents. $1, sorry. Maybe five cents, and uh, I'll have a tip calculator right here. All right. So for example, your meal for a couple is sixty dollars, and then the tip is fifteen percent. It can range from fifteen to twenty to twenty-five. How however generous you are. Okay, I'll be eighteen. So yeah. So sixty times eighteen percent. Eighteen percent will be this. Oops. 60 times 18 percent. All right, what is a percent? A percent is anything over a hundred, uh, like five over a hundred would be five percent. And yeah, so if you're gonna, you if you're gonna get, um calculate. For example, your meal is uh, sixty dollars times sales tax, California. So you owe this much to California, and then um, you're gonna give the waiter clear this out. The total is sixty before times. Point one five nine dollars tip. Tip is calculated before sales tax. So yeah. Or you can just double the double the freaking uh double the basically you get the receipt, right? Just double the sales tax and that'd be the tip for your waiter. Um I'ma have this under the video comments. Um, what else I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna show you. Let me see. UK sales tax. You guys are insane. Duty. Duty is not for sales tax. It's that. It's that poom. Duty. Doggy. Twenty percent. Holy guacamole! All right, I want to talk about how to avoid sales tax. This is how we avoid sales tax. You go to a grocery store. There's no sales tax unless the food is like processed. Then there's no sales tax. Like I can go to a grocery store and get an apple for a dollar. That'll be a dollar. No sales tax. Whatever. Cool. You get an apple. Um, and also CRV, which is uh. In California, we have to pay five cents per can. Not that Honda. Cans. California redemption value. All right. For example, I buy a six pack of beer. Six pack of beer, right? I gotta pay for the beer and sales tax and the cans. If it's soda, all I do is pay for the soda and the cans. 
That's it. No sales tax. I believe. I gotta check that next time. Yeah, I believe so. So, six bucks. No. So I have six sodas, and then it's times zero five. So all plus six, the original cost. So it'll be six thirty for buying a soda of six cans. So I think it's better just to buy the litter because you pay less cans. But if you buy a lot of cans, you'll be paying CRV. Sorry about that. Drink soda. Um. For example, you buy six bottles of beer. I mean, like ten dollars, uh, LA times sales tax. Plus six times five thirty cents. Grand total would be eleven nineteen for six beers. But so cheaper than going to a club. It also applies to different states like uh, Connecticut, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Oregon, Vermont, Maine. Oh man, I think other states are better than New York. See, Oregon. Sometimes it's ten cents. It could be a can bottle. Yeah, California is very expensive. We have sales taxes, we have CRV, we have property tax, but it's not as like Europe. Europe's ridiculous. European sales tax. You guys are insane. I don't know how you guys survive. It's called value added tax. Value added. 10%. You have to pay the government 10% for sales tax. It's ridiculous. With the sales tax value added. Yes. When taxes increase, it shifts the price higher, so the demand curve will also shift. If there's no taxes, there'll be more quantity. So the price goes higher, then there'll be less quantity. And this is the revenue. Okay. Basically, it's saying when government regulates stuff, it's bad. But the government is money, so I'll tax you everywhere: income, stuff you buy. Uh, for in my state, driver license, my income. Um. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave this available for you guys. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys how to avoid tax too. For example, you buy if I live in California, right? So if I buy something from uh, Tire Direct, they're in Florida, so there'll be no sales tax. If you live in like Florida, you buy from New A, in say X. Um, probably buy.com. Let me know what's next for you guys, because we don't have a headquarters there. Like for example, I live in California. I, I buy from Amazon, Newegg, and say X. Then I'll get sales tax because I'm Californian, unfortunately. And that's the catch twenty two. But it's not as bad as Europe. If you're European, um, your 20% is very saddening. <laughs> oh god, I would not be a British. But yeah, you can stretch your dollar pretty far if you're British. USD. That's a lot of money. Dollar sixty. You can buy so one British pound can buy you a bag of chips. Chips here are like 150. Used to be a dollar four years ago, but inflation. Um. So, if you're British, you just buy a crapload of stuff here and just buy a crapload of stuff here. Yeah, I'm out. Thanks.